did you hear what she said and 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 what was your your take on what she told what she said about you yeah so uh i'm trying to think i had someone sent me it in the morning um i, I watched it and you know i one uh, i definitely i appreciate the support it needless to say it kind of shocked me um <laughs> it shocked my parents um at first but no i i to, I definitely appreciate the support. It did come off a bit vague. Um, and like I said, I think it's just because there's a lot of assumptions behind like what trans athletes, you know, maybe what the, the media portrays or maybe what like the few select athletes people see, um, things like that. So, I mean, my big thing is just, you know, I, again, I appreciate the, the love and support, uh, you know, I've seen, but definitely to uh, clear up some assumptions would be, you know, awesome. Um, <laughs> just cause I definitely don't hit it as far as people say, like nowhere close. And at the same time I sit there and, you know, it, it may not be, obviously there's, there's insults or whatever, maybe thrown out. It happens, but at the same time I sit there and like, I hear the assumptions of how far I hit it. And all I can think of is I really wish I hit it that far. <laughs> <laughs> like, I wish, like, I wish this was like a legit argument. Like, I feel like I wouldn't be as frustrated at times if, you know, people were, say, picking on how far I hit it. And that was like the real case. But when I hear all these numbers and I can just think like, ah, I know I well, I wish I hit it that far. So, like I said, the, the support has been awesome, um, you know, definitely um, surprising. Um, but at the same time, there's, you know, Caitlin had some some good words to say. Obviously, her and I, I'm sure, disagree on some things overall. Um, no, but it's, you know, it's, it opens the door, um, you know, and hopefully we, once those assumptions are kind of cleared up, then everyone, you know, can kind of build their actual own view from there rather than what other people are kind of telling them to think. The biggest takeaway, the biggest point that you want to get to. I think that I just feel like there's such a big kind of hypocrisy between like sports at times, you know, I, I think it needs, it's not. While things are, are, you know, every sport is different or whatever, um, in the end, you know, we can't start, I feel like, treating every sport differently because, you know, at the same time, everyone's the same. Like, you know, or just people who may play different sports. So just because a trans person plays, you know, whatever it may be, or is a skier, it doesn't change the fact uh, of, you know, it doesn't make them different from a trans person that plays golf like me, you know. Uh, uh, again, like... Uh, my big thing is I appreciate the support. I would just, I would love to, to kind of talk to her a little bit in regards to um, just other things and in, in regards to like more about how we are athletes that, you know, and, and her experience may not be everyone's experience. I think that that would probably be the, the biggest takeaway. And it's, there's nothing like ill intent, but it's just, you know, because everyone's experiences are different, um, you know, maybe her experience isn't everyone's. And again, that doesn't make her experience incorrect, but uh, you know, everyone's experiences are different and everyone's built different. I mean, with what she was training to do. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure she's pretty big and strong with, I mean, all the videos I've seen growing up of her doing, you know, all the sports she ended up doing again, someone who like me as a golfer, I know obviously golf's different now, but you know, I'm not sitting in the, <laughs> no one's sitting in the gym or whatever as a golfer in general, again, I know it's different now, but in general, it's not, you know, while sports are different, I think we just, it needs to be treated more of like a, on a human basis rather than there's a lot of hypocrisy between what a trans person can be and what like a cis female can be. Like, I feel like it's almost wrong for a trans person to hit it, like as far as I do, but yet my cis counterpart, it's like, oh yeah, it's great. Good for them. You know? So it's like, I feel like we just need to put the same standards on kind of everyone, you know, like I'm a female, she's a female, we should have the same standards. It shouldn't be, well, trans person did it, it's bad, you know, but oh, she did it, it's great. How far do you drive the golf ball? Yeah, so uh, let's see, at Q School last week, I was anywhere between, my average was anywhere between 250 um, and 255, which um, if you look at like those actual numbers right there, 250 puts you at 117th on the LPGA tour this year and 255 puts you at 82nd. I hit it a lot shorter needless to say than I thought I ever would. Um, the amount of yardage I lost during, you know, I've been on hormones for what, seven years. So, I mean, I've, 
I've transitioned, I feel like, a lot longer than a lot of athletes you're probably seeing, you know, in the media and stuff today. Now it's to the point in tournaments where it's like mentally draining where, you know, on the first tee, everyone that hasn't met me kind of assumes, oh, Haley's going to outdrive us. And then when we're kind of walking up to our ball on the first hole, they all kind of look down and go, oh, that that's you. And I'm still walking. And I'm like, yeah, I know it's kind of kills me like the whole world thinks I hit it long and it's just like a constant reminder of yeah I know you you out hit me like you don't need to keep reminding me now I understand her her point that golf is a little different um but again all sports are really the same in the end when it comes to the athlete and I think we just need more of an understanding of what hormones actually do to people by speaking to the actual trans athletes themselves like again in no way shape or form did I ever think I was going to lose the amount of strength or distance or, or all these things that I've lost. Um, and it's even kind of shocked me. But again, that's something that like I've got no issue telling you guys I'm honest about. Um, and I'm sure other trans athletes may not mind that either. It's just, you know, sometimes we just need to have these actual conversations with them.